Station 8, Jesus Cares for His Mother. The scripture from John 19, 25 through 27 says, Standing near the cross were Jesus' mother and his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Clovis, and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus saw his mother standing there beside the disciple he loved, he said to her, Dear woman, here is your son. And he said to this disciple, Here is your mother. And from then on, this disciple took her into his home. Think about it. Jesus, these women with your mother have been with you for much of your journey. I shouldn't be surprised that they are surrounding her with their love, even in the midst of their own grief. Mary Magdalene, since the day you drove away her seven demons, has never faltered in her support. She has felt the full impact of your love. You made her whole. And here they stand, suffering with you and your suffering. Jesus, I wonder what Mary must be thinking and feeling as she stands and watches your life fade, hanging on that cross. Is she thinking back to the visit of the angel who announced your coming? Is she remembering the words of old Simon, Simeon, who took you as an eight-day-old baby in his arms and declared you were God's salvation sent for all people? Or is she reminded of that day in Jerusalem when you were 12, when she searched for you and could not find you? Finally, there you were, talking with the leaders of the temple who were listening intently. You asked her, did you not know I must be in my father's house? Is that when your mission became clear to Mary? Is she now wondering, seeing you on that cross, can this be what his father intended for him? And what brought this one disciple to be standing before your cross? The others have all run away in fear or disappointment. This disciple could be in real danger. Besides, he is standing with the women. Men just don't associate with women who are not from their own family. What is he doing? Why is he here? Yet you trust him so much, you tell him to take care of your mother for the rest of her life. I might visit her and bring her a meal once in a while, but to treat her like I would my own mother is a big commitment. You ask a great deal of him. Are you asking the same of me about other people's mothers, fathers, sisters, brothers? Am I willing to accept the others that God entrusts me to love? I would ask you to wrap yourself in a prayer shawl and sit or kneel. Remember how Jesus loved and took care of his mother. Pray silently and contemplate Jesus' great love for all of us, Jesus' great love for you, your love for him and his people. Pray these words with me. O oh Lord, make me whole so that I may love with the compassion with which you love. Give me the courage to stand beside those who are hurting and share their pain. You know everything about me, my weakness, my faults, and my sin. Redeem me and make me new. Through your strength and by your grace, make me a conduit of your love, not just to the lovable, but to any who need to be cared for and loved. O oh Lord, hear my prayer.